We're Black Tusk. I'm Athon. Andrew. And James. Life and Love from the 2011 Metal Suck Fist. I'm here with Black Tusk. Brothers, introduce yourselves. James. What do you bring to the band? Drums. How about yourself? Athon. Uh, bass and vocals. And you're bringing a very, very eclectic music to the scene, which is so refreshing to see. So why don't you take us a little bit into how that conception, how that potpourri of good music came about? Um, well, we both came from old punk bands. Then they kind of broke up at the same time. We got together, didn't really want to do that kind of music anymore. Was, you know, uh, want to do something different, you branch know, different out. band, you know, branch out. Got together, started playing together, everything meshed well. So then we just started it. And since then, it's just been growing and growing and growing ever since. So you guys were basically friends in the same punk scene type of bands, and then you yeah, got absolutely. so like, yo, let's do a heavier yeah. band? Yep, that's how it went. I mean, our, our punk bands were pretty heavy for punk anyway, yeah. but, uh, you know, we decided to go heavier and have a little bit more fun, so. You can really hear it in, like, the earlier stuff, like, definitely when we first started. Like, the tempo's kind of slowed down a little bit since, like, the beginning when we first started, we definitely. Older. Yeah. <laughs> older, yeah. more mature, and I think, as I said before, if you like anybody who has heard set the dial already it is it takes you to like a different soundscape it's nothing like anybody's doing and i think that's from that process that you guys went through like playing different bands to kind of like knowing each other music yeah. and kind of saying you know what let's do something out of the box oh sure yeah definitely i mean uh we try to make every album sound like us but be a different album because who wants to hear the same album over and over and over again from a band so this is what sound came out of this album the next album will probably be different you know I know it will be you know we just don't stand on one thing too long we kind of just let it grow let it grow let it grow you know and how was the production process for set the dial like tell us a little bit about oh, the whole that, that shit was awesome you know we, we were on tour so long when we were uh, touring on taste of sin and we were just writing in our practice space and uh, from there it just you know we kind of squirreled away these little pieces of songs and came back to it and then we headed out to Seattle and uh, we were hooked up with Jack and Dino and we clicked right off the bat just instantly and uh, you know from there we just made the record in a couple days out there and uh, the rest was we're here now. <laughs> Metal Suck Fest in New York City you guys have played New York before but what sets New York apart from other cities that you play usually? A lot of people you know the it's crowd is nuts. Yeah. There's, a, there's a, a, a handful of every single person you got your death metal kids your straight up 70s rock kids you know it's like all different age groups, every kind of genre of music, they all seem to just dig on coming out to the shows. It's good. Yeah, supporting it. I mean, it's still pretty early, and we have you know a lot of women, as you guys can see right now. Oh, what's up, brother? Third what's member up, here. Yeah, you were doing the work for these guys. What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, they're just being lazy. Before we get out of here, what are your expectations for tonight's show? The first Metal Sox Fest in New York City, of course. Metal Sox has done so much for the scene, so I'll go around and tell us how you feel about this special moment for all those metalheads. We're going to bang some fucking heads. That's the short and skinny of it. We're gonna have a good time, and hopefully everyone else will too. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna rock it, and hopefully everybody is having fun. It should be a good fucking time. It's a great lineup. I support anybody that's trying to keep metal going, so that's a good thing, and uh, we'll try to put on a good show for you guys. And what's in the agenda for you guys for 2012? Touring. North America, Europe, any festivals, Anywhere anything? that will have us. Anywhere and everywhere. We don't give a shit. <laughs> There's a um, there's full U.S. tour that's being planned and there's a European tour that's being planned too. And of so th those we'll we start have. writing again because we never sit on something too long. We're always working on something. We already got a little something going on right now. So. so you guys do a lot of writing from the road or just kind of like escape some ideas? As soon as we get as soon as we get home, we'll get in the practice space and just start jamming and because we don't want to play the same songs we just toured on, so we'll just start writing new stuff. You know, we don't we have a little bit of an attention problem, so we uh, start jumping around playing new stuff. Any final words for your fans watching worldwide? We hope you love the new album. Uh, we do. You know, uh, we hope that you just bang your head to it hard, man, and uh, check us out when we come through your town. Anybody else wants to add anything to that, or he's? 